Hey guys, Robbie Crawford here. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at a couple different things. First of all, we'll have a sample of the GoPro Hero 4 Black's 1080p at 120 frames per second setting and the slow motion capabilities that offers. We'll be importing that clip into GoPro Studio and slowing it down to 15% so that it fits in Instagram's 15 second time frame. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download GoPro Studio if you haven't done that already. Uh, it's free download at gopro.com. Go to gopro.com, click on products, software and app, and download GoPro Studio. Once that's done, you're going to want to open GoPro Studio. As you can see, I have both the files I'll be working with here. The first thing I want to do is drag my video into import new files. The next step is I'm going to mark my in and my out. So I'll drag my scrubber right here to a little bit before where I think the beginning point of my video is going to be. Just to give a little leeway um, during editing. And then I'll mark my in. And same thing with my out point just a little further than where I think I might want to give a little leeway in editing so there's my out point once that's done I'm gonna add clip to conversion list now that that's shown up in the conversion list I'm going to press convert all the whole point of marking your in and your out by the way is simply the less video that needs to be converted, the less time it's going to take to convert. So you're basically just saving yourself time. So now that the conversion is complete, we're going to proceed to step two. Close this. All right, now that we're at step two, we see our timeline here, and you see where it says drag video here. So we're going to take our video and drag it onto our timeline. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to adjust the speed. If we weren't going to adjust the speed and we didn't want sound, we would press this button. That turns the sound off. But as you can see, when we adjust the speed, by default, it kills the sound. So now our clip's at 15%. We're going to disable flux because I want you to get the raw slow motion of 15% at 120 frames per second. I want you to see what that looks like. It's my experience that video that's shot at 120 frames per second can be slowed down to about 15 percent while still maintaining fluid motion during playback. So we got our flux disabled and now we're gonna drag <coughs> our scrubber to our endpoint. I wanted the video to start right about where Bo pushes the button to fire the camera. So right about here is probably pretty cool. And I'm going to mark my end right here. And then I'm going to drag my scrubber to right about where I want my end point, which I would say would be right about here. So we see the duration is 14.47 seconds. That's fine. Somewhere within 15 seconds is what I wanted. Um, the next step is we're going to add a fade in, which I'm going to do about three seconds. I like kind of nice, long, smooth fades. You can either drag the scrubber or you can simply type in the number here so we'll just type in the number three and three now when I play it you'll see that there's a nice fade in and once we get to the end of the video a nice fade out okay so the next step is we're gonna want to add some audio so I'm gonna take my track here drag it into this window and then I'm going to drag my track right down here to where it says drag audio here. As you can see that. 
Now I already know that I want to use the beginning of this song. So I'm going to take my scrubber right here to the end of the video. And just like I did with the video clip, I'm going to mark it out. Make sure this is selected and then I'm going to mark it out for my audio. Same thing, I'm also going to add a fade in and a fade out to my audio clip. You do that right here. Same thing, you can either drag this or you can simply type in a number. I want it a little bit longer than the fade on my clip, so I'm going to add a four second fade in and a four second fade out. Now the next thing I want to do is I just want to do some slight color correction. So I'm going to take my scrubber to the middle of the video and then I'm going to add a little bit of contrast and then I'm also going to cool down the temperature just a little bit because it was a little bluer this day than green and I want it to look like what I saw with my eyes so that looks pretty good to me I would say it's now ready for export so I'm going to click right here I'm going to click export 1080 is for full HD playback on the computer or TV and this is will also be good for your cell phone so I'm going to now export I'm gonna save this as hero 4 black sample and press save the other thing about having flux enabled is although it can create a more fluid motion when you slow something down it also takes a lot longer to export so if you don't need it um, I recommend not using it okay so now we see the file on my desktop the next thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna get want to get this file onto your phone I use iTunes for that just a simple sync feature you just gotta make sure when you set up your photos and which folder that they're coming from that you click the also include videos option okay so once you have that on your phone you're probably going to want to use an app to add white borders to the top and bottom so you can still see the full frame of the video I personally use square ready for video it costs a couple bucks but I'm I'm the kind of person that doesn't mind paying two bucks to somebody who makes my life easier so you know this is what I use once you download that app you import your video file into it export it it'll show up in your camera roll and it's ready to share on Instagram I hope this tutorial helped if any of you guys share any videos uh, feel free to tag me in them at Robbie Crawford um, I'd love to see what you guys get thank you very much